What happened to Jacob Wetterlein was a mystery that haunted the state for nearly 27 years. But late last week, authorities unearthed his remains on farmland in Painesville. Jacob was kidnapped at gunpoint, molested, murdered in 1989. Now the owner of the land where his body was buried is speaking with a reporter for the first time with CCO. Ashley Roberts in the newsroom this morning with why he says the evidence likely stayed hidden all these years, Ashley. Good morning, Jason. Farmer Doug Voss says he learned about Jacob's kidnapping when he was in junior high. He says a lot of people shed tears that day for the 11 year old boy. Now, father himself, it's still hard to believe Jacob's remains had been on his land all these years. Investigators recovered Jacob's remains last week behind this tree. On Wednesday, deputies told the Vosses they were there to look for stolen property and ask permission to dig on their land. Voss later learned the Wetterlings were eventually led to that same tree line. Wednesday, somebody had, had come to the farm. I wasn't home at the time, but talked with my wife and had mentioned something about uh, stolen property and interest that way and that they had asked permission to go take a look at a described area that they had uh, told her about at that time. And from that point, then more people had come later. And, you know, it looked to us at that point that it was more than what they had described. But um, everything, you know, kind of developed from that point. It wasn't until Friday when the Stearns County Sheriff confirmed at their kitchen table that it was Jacob they found. Voss showed us another field to give us an idea of what this land would have looked like in 1989 before cattle roamed the pasture. He says that tall grass would make it nearly impossible to see anyone coming and going, especially at night. Voss says as the landscape changed, no one would have ever been able to detect anything suspicious. The Stearns County Sheriff's Office says investigators first uncovered Jacob's hockey jacket along with some bones last Wednesday. But crime lab tests came back indicating they were animal bones. So investigators went back to the site on Friday and expanded the search area. That evening, they found Jacob. Jason. Ashley, thank you.